dog stare. <laughs> I mean, that thrum you get. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today at Beauty Garage, or more specifically BG Giveaways, to check out this. This is a Mark II Focus ST, a car which I've filmed a couple of times before uh, in various modified states. However, this specific car is gonna be the first one that I drive. This is running a stage two package, running just shy of 300 horsepower, 295 to be exact. And it's actually up for raffle as we speak. As I mentioned, I'm here today at BG Giveaways where these guys are giving away this car. $4.99 a ticket, further information down below in the video description. But before we go out and have a first drive in this car, I wanna show you around it, all the various modifications, and then we'll go from there. So then, the Mark II Focus ST. It is good to have another one of these cars back on the channel. They really are such a good bang for buck hot hatch nowadays. I mean, in a few years, approaching 20 years old, and it has aged remarkably well, and it does have, uh, well, a lot of character, as I'm sure we're gonna find out later on in the first drive. But diving straight in, as I mentioned, 295 brake horsepower in this specific car. Stage two, uh, mapped by Dream Science. A lot of Dream Science uh, mapping uh, has been gone on uh, with this car, but what do you need to know? No, mainly the engine. The block on this car, one of the main selling points for me really, the mighty Duratec 2.5 litre, five cylinder engine. Uh, you can get some ridiculous power out of some of these things. They really are very, very capable. But this car, in its current state, we do have uh, a couple of uh, hardware bits which come along with the stage two package, of course. You can see Ram Air uh, induction kit. We've got an AirTech turbo elbow here. Uh, we've got the original turbo on this car, of course, stage two, original turbo. Uh, we do have a sports cat fitted to the car, three inch sports cat, along with a three inch custom uh, cat back from their back. Uh, we also got a Dream Science uh, stage two intercooler up front, Sunsport grills as well to protect that. Nice gloss black low line kit running all around the car. And it actually looks pretty nice, finished in Colorado red as well. It's had a full respray recently to really freshen things up. Sits well as well on the HSD coilovers, 18 inch gloss black wheels as well. And it is a good looking car. And as I mentioned, pretty remarkable that you can pick one of these up for, in most cases, less than 5,000 pounds. It is a lot of car for the money, that is for sure, especially with how much potential they have in the modified world outside of that. Taking a quick peek into the interior, this specific car has the ST3 leather seats retrofitted because this is of course an ST2. Uh, naturally six-speed manual. This does have the RS clutch and flywheel uh, from the Mark II uh, RS uh, retrofitted uh, into this car as well. And yeah, one of you can be in with a chance of winning this exact car as well. As I mentioned, £4.99 per ticket. There's just over 2,000 tickets available uh, and the competition is live for a few weeks uh, from when this video goes up. So go check out the video description, click the link so you can see the listing and get yourselves in with the draw and the chance of winning this car. But for me right now, I'm gonna hop in, get this thing warmed up and go make some lovely five cylinder noises. Sound. That sound will never get boring. <laughs> yeah, I can confirm these cars are a lot more fun sat here than what they are sat there. <laughs> that engine is just so sweet. Talk steer. 
Um, as you can tell, by the way, weather has taken a turn, a turn for the worst. It is absolutely miserable outside now, um, but yeah, hey ho. <laughs> but aside from that, we can still have a lot of fun, that is for sure. It is my first time driving one of these, as I mentioned. really nicely even a half throttle actually really nicely heel and toes a little bit difficult with just how the pedals are situated uh, this is just the kind of car which it wants to be driven hard down some country roads which conveniently is exactly where we are today but i mean these cars right in the uk market right now you can get them for like two and a half three grand in the cheaper side of things which yes it wouldn't be as a nice example as say this car for example but that is so much car for the money a five cylinder engine a manual gearbox heaps of modification uh, possibilities um, i mean the list of things which are out there for these cars is crazy you can just do pretty much anything you want to them unlock some serious power and some serious potential um, and really give some cars which are, you know, five, six, seven times more expensive a real run for their money. <laughs> I mean, say for example, you buy the cheapest one in the UK, I don't know, three and a half grand or so. Chuck six and a half, seven grand into it, so you've got a 10,000 pound car from purchasing it and building it. This thing would, would be an absolute rocket ship. Now I did do a similar video back when I owned my Mark V GTI actually. I did a video of, is the Mark V GTI the ultimate car you can buy for sub 5,000 pounds? And a lot of people in that video said, no, <laughs> no, it's not, this is. So am I right now? Is this the ultimate car you can get for five grand or in most cases under that? I think it is. I really think it is. What it can give you and the platform, the possibilities and the fun you get from it is worth so much more than what these things are valued at. <laughs> I mean, that thrum you get. <laughs> it's not the craziest exhaust setup on this car, but I actually prefer that. These cars can sound very, very Asbo, which is, is nice in certain occasions, but I think for what we're doing today, <laughs> having this sports cat with the three inch system is just right really gets the tone bang on it sounds really really nice starting to get a nice few little pops on the upshifts now car handles pretty well it just loves being driven at speed <laughs> yeah, this car is a proper riot. It really is. Pulls really hard. Engine is so sweet. So sweet. Third gear. Third gear is the one. Third gear is the absolute one, but I suppose it begs the question, is this the ultimate hot hatch or ultimate car, I suppose, you could buy for sub 5,000? And if it's not, what is? What is? Initially, when I had my Mark V GTI, I thought, you know what, this car does everything so well and it's such a good package. But this, I, it has the character, it has so much more character, heaps more character than a Mark V GTI, which is already a very good car. I loved mine, did 10,000 miles on it, used it every day for about a year. But this car with the manual, the front wheel drive, the five cylinder, that's what makes it. That is what makes it. <laughs> that's definitely what makes it. Such a bundle of fun and a big thank you again goes to BG Giveaways for lending me the keys today, letting me go take this thing for a little rip around some awesome roads, <laughs> which is certainly designed for, <laughs> certainly at home, that's for sure. Of course, this exact car could be yours 
for just $4.99 per ticket. The competition ends in a couple of weeks, uh, so if you're seeing this video shortly after it comes out, click the link down in the description, go check it out. Go see the full spec list of everything that you need to know about the car uh, and have your chance to win it. I'm sure whoever wins it will enjoy plenty of fun old miles in this thing. I mean, the 50 or so that I've done in it today has certainly been fun, that is for sure. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>